Israel Defense Forces operational systems have indicated that rockets that struck the Gaza hospital in the wee hours of Wednesday were fired by Hamas terrorists in Gaza, claiming more than 500 lives. Confirming IDF's indication, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that IDF, along with several other sources, have revealed that Islamic Jihad was responsible for the unsuccessful rocket launch which struck the Al Ahil Hospital in Gaza. Taking to the microblogging platform X, PM Netanyahu stated, those who brutally murdered our children also murder their own children. Earlier today, several rockets struck the Al Ahil Al Arabi Hospital, resulting in hundreds of casualties on Wednesday morning, which the Gaza authorities claimed that the Israeli military is responsible for. In the aftermath of the same, protesters in Amman tried to set the Israeli embassy in Jordan on fire. However, rejecting Gaza's claims, the spokesperson of the Israeli Defense Forces said that according to their analysis, Hamas terrorists were aiming rockets at Israel, which passed through the vicinity of the hospital. He added that it was due to Islamic Jihad terrorist organization's failed launch which resulted in explosion at the hospital. Concerned about the potential escalation of the war due to strikes at the Gaza hospital, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire, which has now reached day 12. Empathizing towards Israel, the UN Secretary General also stated that Hamas's attacks on Israeli soil cannot be justified as a collective punishment of the Palestinian people. He appealed the Hamas terrorist organization to unconditionally release the Israeli hostages and allow access to Gaza for distribution of humanitarian aid.